Okay, I started digging this hole, and as you can see now, there's water in it. And this is, I've been gone for an hour and a half. And there's the current setup over there, which I'm going to have to stay with it at this point, I guess. Because if I dig deeper on this one, I'm going to end up putting water back in there. Or putting the dirt back in this one because of the water. That's just seep from the ground up. So I've got a pond pump over there and then a float device with the regular sump pump. I'm going to dig down deeper to get it to suck more water out again. Okay, so now we have the pump changed location. We we'll put a flat bucket in there. And then the cord that you see right to your left that's curling goes to the pipe that is now the pond pump here. In between the two bricks. That way it gets the water first and then the the sump pump gets the water second uh, and will take care of the flow since it's flowing faster than 150 to 180 gallons per minute. That's what it's supposed to pump out at. You're going to need a backflow device on it. This hole here has gotten bigger since we trenched through back in June or May. And that's gotten a little deeper too over there, which is where the water's coming from at the moment. Suck down time 30 seconds. Floats going down should kick off right about now. You got one minute. Okay, one minute, uh, fifteen seconds, twenty seconds. You get a backwash that will help fill that back up. That's uh, pond scum or um, bentonite, one of the two, but it stinks. So it accumulates only when it fills up, then I throw it out there. Uh, I'm thinking it's, I don't know, it's gray so it must be bentonite but then it could be just pond scum <laughs> 